from the word from the Bible here in John chapter 3 verse 16 it says for God so loved the world that uh, he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life uh, the Bible declared to us that God so loved the world so much. How and why he loved the world? We know that from the beginning, when God created the heaven and the earth, and he, he created Adam and Eve, and after that they live in the Garden of Eden happily, without sickness, without sin, and they would live eternally. They were there, ruling that place. But uh, after that, uh, the devil came into that uh, area and tempted Eve and ate that uh, fruit, which God told them not to eat. But uh, then Eve took the fruit and gave to his husband, Adam. And Adam ate it. Then the sin of disobedience come into the world. The greatest thing I want to let you know, disobedient. Because God told them, don't touch this fruit, don't eat from it. Because that day you will eat it, you will surely die. If the Lord says the word surely, he never said you may die. Surely, he said, if you touch it, you will surely die. And uh, they disobey. That is the greatest sin than all sins. Because somebody can make sin because he disobeyed the word of God. Maybe he has listened to the preaching of the word. Maybe he or she, they are tending to a certain church. But through disobedience. They come from the church and go to sin. And that is the great test. Sin made the world, all the world become a, a, a problem and the sinners and sickness. So from that day, Adam was driven together with his wife out of that garden. Then through the love of God the Father, he was concerned when Adam and Eve go out to do their own work and they are not, now they are uh, under the hand of the devil because they, they obey the devil instead of obeying their father. And you know, the devil starts to rule. From that day, death came into this world when sin came. People died, we can see, big men, millionaires, doctors. People have tried, scientists have tried with medicine, that is good. But still, the people died. Why? Because of disobedience. And uh, because of this, we have something, how the people could come back to God. And God made a plan how the man could come back to him because he's a father full of real love 
It is a different love. We call it agape. That is the love of God. And uh, the Bible tells us that he sent Jesus Christ into this world to make a reconciliation between uh, men with their Father God. And Jesus came. And uh, he came just like an ordinary man. You see, the Bible says, the word became flesh. The word of God became flesh, which is Jesus Christ. God is wonderful. He's a miracle doer. You can't reach how God is. And uh, when Jesus came, he did well. He was healing the people. He was delivered, those who were possessed by demons. And uh, many were healed until Jesus went to heaven after crucifixion. But uh, the, the place where I read from John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world, the love moved him to think how the devil is doing to his children. People are people dying. Now in the world we have many things like uh, nicotine, alcoholics. Uh, now we have many things uh, like uh, homosexual and all these kind of sins, shameful sins. But the world says, for God so loved the world so much and he sent Jesus so that men can come back to him, even sinners. The Bible says God doesn't want anyone to go to a uh, lake of fire. But you want all to come to repentance. All. Even if you are a sinner, how big, how small, still God loves you. He's waiting for you. What you have to do, you just know and come sorry for the sin. Because the Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So you can choose. Me, I choose eternal life. But you can have eternal life when you repent your sin and come to the Lord Jesus with all your heart. And the Bible says, if a man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. The Bible says, behold, they are new. You will become a new creature through the reconciliation which Jesus made with the man who will believe. In the heart of God, even today, he wants everybody to be in heaven. Again, this thing we call hell. Hell was not made for men. It was made for Satan. But men, through their disobedience, they choose themselves. And you see, the devil is a liar. And uh, the Bible says, he's the ruler of this world. How can he be a ruler of this world? Yet he was not uh, created this world. He's a liar, he's a thief. So those who believe in, in him, he will confuse them and say, there is no God. I met some, somebody told me that there is no God. And he, he meant it. But I wonder, and I asked him, we were in the aeroplane, and I, I asked him, if this aeroplane could speak, because it's a very big aeroplane, and he took many people inside, and luggages. And if this aeroplane can talk, can, can the aeroplane say there is no somebody who, who, who made me, who make me? No, there must be somebody. You have to believe and you have to know that there is somebody who created this universe. You, you must, but if you say, oh, we don't believe that, that is disobedience. You just come to Jesus. The love of God is great to you. Jesus is waiting for you. And then, very soon, we will go to heaven for eternal life. Because the life here is just short, a short life. And it's full with sorrow and many things. But there, we'll be there forever, before our Father. Praise the Lord. So you are welcome to repent your sin. Maybe you said, I don't have a sin, I never steal something, 
I never kill anybody. But the Bible says, all have sinned, all, and come short of the glory of God. All, all over the world, all have sinned. So, I believe you will be sorry, because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Not this uh, nature of death. There is death in hell eternally. But again, there is everlasting life. So God loves you. God has no respect of a person and said, Oh no, this man is having a lot of money, he's a millionaire, maybe he will pay. You will not pay. Jesus has paid through his blood. He paid. He paid. So what you have to do, just come to him and tell him with all your heart, say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me from all my sin. And from that moment, your sin will be forgiven. Your name will be written in the book of life. And one day you will see your Father God. May God bless you and come to him. Come to him today. Amen. I want to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you through your word. I want to thank you because of your love. No one has this kind of love, even from the parents, even, even between husband and wife. Your love is above all because even you love sinners, you want them to come to repent so that one day they will come before you. God, I want to thank you for preaching. I want to thank you for those who have listened the preaching. I ask you to bless them and touch their hearts so that they can repent and their name be written in the book of life. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love. You so love the world and you give your only begotten Son. So whoever believe means you need all people to choose and be free to believe. Bless them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Heal their hearts. Heal their body. Because also you are a great physician. Thank you for hearing my prayer. I believe those who have listened to this message will really know that you love them. Even in which situation they are. They are. Thank you, my Heavenly Father, because of your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.